Trump or Kamala? Oh, Trump for sure. What would you say to Kamala if she was here right now? She's an idiot. Trump or Kamala? Oh, Trump for sure. Trump or Kamala? Trump. What would you say to Kamala if she was here right now? <laughs> I don't like you, man. Trump or Kamala? Oh, Trump every day. What would you say to Kamala if she was here right now? Uh, I wouldn't even talk to her. That's how bad she is. Trump or Kamala? Uh, Trump. What would you say to Kamala if she was here right now? Uh, keep walking. <laughs> Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump. Excuse me, sir? What's up? Trump or Kamala? Trump. What would you say to Kamala if she was here? Get the hell out of the office. She thinks that immigration without paperwork is good. Clearly not too much power underneath Kamala's hood. Borders are. All right, y'all. This might be the best Scamla ad you've ever seen. Let's get it popping. When Joe and I opened the border, flooding America with tens of millions of illegal aliens, we thought voters would think we were kind and generous. <laughs> you serious? But it turns out Trump was right. They're not sending their best. They're not sending their best. Turns out that they are, in fact, bringing drugs, bringing crime, bringing their rapists, and apparently they're eating the cats. Eat the cat, eat, eat the cat. But when I'm president, things will be different. I'm like an abusive boyfriend who promises to stop beating up his girlfriend if she agrees to marry him. If you elect me president, I promise to stop destroying the country. I know I've been bad, but trust me, baby, I can change. My plan to stop illegal immigration is simple. I'm going to fly all the homeless people from every third world country on the planet into our country. Every lunatic from every asylum, every murderer, rapist, and violent criminal. About 712 million people. Once all 712 million are here in the U.S., problem solved. You can't illegally immigrate if you're already here. Even Republicans have to admit, that's good logic. This election is about looking forward. America is like the Titanic, and I think it's about time we had a woman manning the wheel. We are not going back. <laughs> Mr. Reagan. Now that right there is what I call gooder than chicken, folks. My man Mr. Reagan strikes again with another impeccable truth bomb exposing the evil through comedy. God bless him for always having the best ads on the entire internet and putting in all the effort that goes into making these. Definitely go show him some love by subscribing to his channel, which I link down below in the description section. And I think my favorite part was when she said, I know I've been bad, but trust me, baby, I can change. I know I've been bad, but trust me, baby. I can change. Nah, I don't trust you. So, Lion Kamala, you're fired. She you're did. fired. That's what I'd say if she was here right now. And I know we call these parodies, but they really could pass as documentaries if we're keeping it real. But the dead giveaway that it is a parody is the fact that no word salads got tossed and Scamala actually sounded coherent. Obviously, we know that's never the case in reality. Her being honest would be like Joe Biden walking a straight line to pass a field sobriety test. No bueno. Never gonna happen. and looking holistically at the connection between that and housing, and looking holistically at the incentives we in the federal government can create for local and state governments to actually engage in planning in a holistic manner that includes prioritizing affordable housing. Now, the cackling commie is right about one thing. We ain't going back to her in the White House. We the people with common sense and attached brain stems, we're gonna do our best to make sure of that. And to all you folks that are still dazed and confused, thinking that we need our first woman president, remember, she's the first woman VP and couldn't handle that job without screwing things up. What do you think would happen with her as commander in chief? Are you kidding me? No, thank you. Forget all that DEI garbage. I want a leader, not a career politician liar. Men were created to lead, not women. Things have gone cattywampus enough, and I'm voting for the future of my country, for the Second Amendment, for the republic in which we live, for police and law and order, and I'm voting for the military and veterans who fought and died for this country, for the red, white, and blue that needs to be stood up for and honored, for the right to speak my opinion and not to be censored for it. I'm voting for secure borders again, for a giant wall 
wall or whatever it takes to deport these illegal aliens and keep their butts out of here. And I'm voting for every unborn soul that is at risk of being aborted. And I'm voting for freedom and the American dream. I'm voting for good and for against evil. I'm not just voting for one person. I love this nation and I want to make it great again. Say what you want about Trump as a person. Personally, I love the man. I love his fearless, no BS mentality. But even if you don't like the character, if you're a real American, there's only one platform that makes sense. Vote conservative all the way down the ticket and pray that God blesses America. Amen. But I'll end on that note. My tangent is getting fired up as I usually do. That's just how we roll over here. If you don't like it, probably shouldn't subscribe. If you do, you should probably subscribe, hit the notification bell, share it with your loved ones, all of that good stuff. But I'd love to hear what y'all think about all this. So drop a comment below and let's keep the conversation rolling. It'd be good for us to have um, a black woman as president for the first time in history. Yeah. But um, my vote's kind of still on Trump. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring the notification bell so you can get notified anytime I post a new video. If you like what I'm doing over here and you want to show a little extra love and support, make sure you go check out our website down below in the description section. That way you can get all the awesome shirts that you see me wearing in every single video. They're all made by my smoking hot wife with tons of different designs to choose from. Sizes ranges from itty bitty extra small to big, big and hefty 5x i'm sure we got something that you'd like or a great gift for someone that you love outside of that you can always join the gibson family here on youtube and become a member by clicking that join button you can buy me a coffee you can join the patreon family all those links are down below as well by no means do you have to do any of that just showing up and watching my freckle face on your screens for a few minutes i'm greatly appreciative i love y'all and i can't thank you enough for rocking with me throughout the years until next time i'll be praying for you godspeed i'm gone